everyone! Welcome to another episode of Lenguaje. From now on, I will be calling this Kwentuhan Lang. And Kwentuhan is, it means chit chat in the Philippines. And that's my favorite way to spend time with my loved ones and friends and families. And yeah. So, yeah. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Mabuti naman po ako. So, um, in this episode, I will be sharing 10 things that you should try and enjoy while you are in the Philippines. So, Unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about, you know, the islands to go to, the activities around there. This is mainly going to be in the city. So I grew up in the city. I'm such a city girl. And so I know exactly what I want to get from my city. And in the Philippines, there's plenty. I know like it gets boring when you are traveling and you're just stuck in the city. But these are the things that you could enjoy while you're there. All right. My list is not really ranked from 1 to 10, which means like 1 would be the, the highest and then the best. No, it's not like that. It's random. So let's get started. The top one on my list is the massage in the Philippines. Massage in the Philippines is so relaxing, not to mention it is really cheap. Um, the price would range from 250 pesos to 500. Um, Obviously, if you want a fancier one, you could go to a fancier um, massage parlor, but why wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, the experience is the same, basically, but there's two ways for you to do this. One is going to the massage parlor, and my favorite is the home service massage, where people or masseuse would come to your place and then massage you and leave you when they're done. Now. Obviously, if you don't know the masseuse, then you know, or the company, then you can't do that. You, you know, you want to protect yourself. But um, for the most part, I never really had a bad experience with the masseuse coming um, to my place to give me a home service massage. But what I do is, you know, um, I just get the number of the masseuse that I like, and then request for them. Uh, the next time so I have my regular masseuse but yeah that's the, one of the things that I like that, about the Philippines is that the massage is cheap and it's also very relaxing it is different from Thai massage because Thai massage is a bit um, hardcore I don't really fall asleep in Thai massage because I don't know it's just a bit hardcore for me I like hard um, hard pressure but the way they massage in the Philippines it's more like relaxing like like deep tissue massage something like that and I will insert the conversion of the pricing for the massage because I'm not prepared <laughs> uh, but don't worry I'll just put that here obviously they might change the price so you know just double check but that's something that you should enjoy while you are in the city if you are somehow stuck in the city it's good I love it at one time I know, I'm like talking a lot about massage, right? Because I love massage. At one point in my life, I actually have two people coming in uh, who came to my uh, place to give me a massage. So I have four hands on me. Yeah. Well, my ex-boyfriend was there, so it was all good. And they're all female. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how much I love massage. So you should try it. Alright, so the next thing that I would like to share with you is that if you are a backpacker and you are on a budget don't worry well I guess that's the reason why you went to the Philippines because it's cheaper than you know any places you would go to it's one of the cheap places to go to I would say um yeah so food is so accessible and really cheap um now I'm not talking about going to the mall or restaurant but if you go outside, there will be like mini stall of food where you can get a cooked food. Um, so I used to live in um, Makati area. So if you're around that area, uh, there's plenty there. In the BGC, it's a bit kind of like high end of a place. So it might be a little difficult to find the uh, little stall where they sell cooked food. But other than that, you can go to markets. They also sell cooked food there. 
the pricing for those would probably be 30 to 70 pesos per meal um so again um they might have changed it i mean price prices increase so i don't know but that's about the range and for that price you will already have your meal and it could last you a long time especially if you eat rice we love rice so everywhere you go there will be rice okay so that's the food that you should try in the philippines not in the restaurants but you know like the stall ones you should try those it's it's fun because it's like going um to a buffet and like hmm, what can i eat for like a you know like a couple of dollars it's amazing all right so the next thing on my list is kind of related to food uh but yeah i would say street food but it, this is particularly you, you know about those uh, little street food that you could get for example i don't know how to explain that but those like anyhow you should try those uh they're a bit extreme um they sell uh chicken blood but uh, oh, uh, chicken hair chicken neck any part really i used to eat those when i was young but um um right now i can only eat hot dog <laughs> i love like barbecue hot dogs in the philippines the hot dog in the philippines is ooh, different from any hot dogs i don't know why um okay so with the street food i think you should try uh you would see uh, people selling um uh ice popsicles and they have amazing flavor so i think you should try those uh you should try rice cake which is kakanin in the philippines it's like um like yeah rice cakes basically uh we have plenty of options of those uh, varieties of kakanin and i think you should try those my favorite is um <laughs> like i get really excited about those because they are my favorite um but it's fattening so be careful um they're full of sugar um my favorite that you should try is the palitao maybe i'll insert some pictures here so you kind of have an idea of what i'm talking about um the palitao um Peachy peachy. Oh, I love peachy peachy. I miss peachy peachy actually. Uh, yeah, so yeah, those are my faves. And uh, bibinka, bibinka, and ubu, conchinta, conchinta. But if you happen to see those vendor that sells rice cakes, well, I mean, they would have variety. So you could just like pick which one, but just ask them, okay, which one is palitao, which I will again insert a picture, uh, bibinka, um, conchinta, and peachy peachy. I love those. Um, peachy peachy is best to get from Amber's Best. <laughs> I love those. Oh my god. Um, I miss those. Anyway, so that's the street food. Uh, please try them. I am pretty sure you're not gonna like everything that i say here or like the food that i'm talking about but the thing is you should try you know you're in the philippines so just try um okay my second thing to talk about is uh the salon or yeah the nail spa so in australia the hair salon is separated from nail salon so if you go if you want to go for um hair treatment or haircut then you go to the hair spa but if you want to go for nail uh, to, to get your nails done then you have to go to a different nail parlor yeah different place um is what i mean but in the philippines they are together so it's very convenient and it is very cheap too i mean obviously if you don't go to uh, like a high-end type of parlor then it would be cheap so what i'm talking about here are those um nail salon or nail spa that's just around the corner of the street and it wouldn't look fancy uh don't go to something that looks really really terrible okay um uh, you know like be a good judge don't be don't go to like a really high-end one and don't go to something that looks so dodgy 
So I'm talking about those like okay looking salon. So the pricing for the um, hair, oh, sorry, nails manicure would probably be around 50 to 70. They probably change it now. Um, but hello, that's super cheap. You know, like it's $60 to get this done. Although this is an um, acrylic and a shellac. So it's a bit pricey, but it's not the cleaning of your nails is not included in that $60. Imagine. That's really pricey so I don't really get used to uh, get my or I don't really get my nails done all the time it's only for a special occasion um, because what well, I'm not really I'm like I'm trying to be a low maintenance kind of girl um, yeah so that's the hair spa hair salon nail salon for you I think you should try it because it's a very you know when you want to pamper yourself it's cheap way right you are in the city there's nothing to do um uh, i have a couple of things that i'm going to mention here that you could also do but you know if you compare it to going to an island it's very different so yeah just pamper yourself it's cheap um however when you go to a nail salon or hair especially nail um it could take you an hour a uh, manicure pedi pedicure could take you an hour so it's a bit time consuming um you know if i compare going here it would be like five to ten minutes you're done but in the philippines it's it's time consuming you know but if you have time it's good to just like sit there and relax they give you like massage at the end of the manicure and pedicure anyway so i love those all right so what's next my second thing that you should try and enjoy while you are in the city is going to the cinema again I think I say this a lot it is cheap um, but it's really cheap compared to uh, why do I always compare but I'm just like telling you like if I could have that access to go to the cinema then I would because it is cheap um, so the cinema in the Philippines is very cheap um, the, uh, for me the best one to go to is the green belt because it's cozier than other places and there's like less people so if you are around that area then that's good i think in bg i haven't been into the cinema in bgc but you know um I'm, yeah i can't like say much about it but my favorite to go to is the green belt um yeah it's a good place there's there's a uh, restaurant there where you can have a drink and chill outside too so it's a it's a cool area okay now, uh, my next thing to talk about is the market. Go and try the market in the Philippines. So there's two types of market that I'm going to talk about. One is the wet market. Uh, the wet market is where you can buy fresh goods, fresh uh, uh, fish. Um, yeah, everything is fresh on the vegetables, fresh um, wet market. So everything is fresh there. I would also recommend for you to go to the seaside. That's uh, around moa or rojas boulevard you could buy fresh uh seafoods there and have it cooked for you on the spot and i think that's pretty amazing i love those um yeah so that's called seaside go try that another uh the other market that i wanted to talk about is just where you can buy basic stuff clothes um accessories bags um we have a lot of this, but definitely you should try to go to Baclaren is good. I don't really go there a lot. Um, Divisoria is if you're going to buy bulk things, then Divisoria is really good. Um, to for easy access, um, I would say Green Hills is also really good. Yeah, they sell a lot of stuff there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but yeah, ha have a go and you know buy your pasalubong going back to your country i don't know if you do that but in the philippines we do that okay the second thing i'm going to talk about is the nightlife in the philippines now i'm not only going to talk about the clubs but you know the city makati or the city in the philippines um is still alive until five in the morning so when you go outside because you get hungry all of a sudden then you could find a place to go to to eat how amazing 
here in Australia, by around 10 or 11, you would feel that the vibe is all already like everyone's resting, right? So yeah, I really like that about the city in the Philippines. There are clubs there that goes from like maybe nine till very late. And there's a place there where you could go until 10 in the morning, right? Fun. I've never been in a club that late, but I have friends who has been. So that's the nightlife in the Philippines. The next one that I think you should try and enjoy is the transportation. So, you know, ditch the taxis, oh, sorry, um, whatever, um, carpool companies. You should try jeepney and tricycle because they're very cheap and it's fun. There is a, this culture, um, in, in, when you go to, uh, in a jeepney, there's this culture where you, uh, get the fare and then, um, pass it around and vice versa. I think that type of culture is really interesting. Like you don't know that person, but you're like, I don't know, you, you somehow connect. Um, I really like that. But, um, yeah, if you're going from what, point A to point B, I think with the jeepneys around 10 pesos, so it's very cheap. Um, it could get really hot sometimes and you could be sweaty being in the jeepney, but I like the jeepney. So the next one is the tricycle. Yeah, tricycle has three wheels, that's why it's tricycle. Huh. We, <laughs> as if you don't know that. All right, the tricycle you could um, negotiate so that it would be like a special service. A special service is that they don't wait for other people, it's just you. So it's really fast and very cheap as well but make sure to ask the people around how much it is from point A to point B because it could vary so that tricycle driver wouldn't take advantage of you right especially if you look foreign and you don't speak the language they might take um, a little bit of, uh, of advantage um, it's the same thing in, in Thailand not just in the Philippines I've experienced that in Thailand I've tried my best to speak Thai because I sort of kind of look like, I don't know, I guess Thai, but it didn't work. They could tell. <laughs> All right, so the next one that I would uh, suggest for you to try and, and enjoy in the Philippines is the karaoke, especially if you have Filipino friends. The Filipino loves to sing. It's like a, a good way to get to know someone. And you don't even have to go to karaoke uh, bars, but you know, we do uh, sing a lot. So maybe you could sing um, from, I don't know, like TV or whatever, like using TV or those sort of, um, karaoke machine. Um, yeah, but you should really try the karaoke because it's a, it's a Philippine culture. It's really part of us. and. You know, it's something that you would say like, oh, I've done that. I've tried that with a, the local. And you would see how people kind of, um, kind of warm up to you fast when there is karaoke and there's food on the table. We also love to eat. Um, I love to eat. Okay, the last one that I'm going to uh, suggest to go and try is going to the mall in the Philippines. Um, you know, I would just say this because we have a lot of malls in the Philippines and I think just seeing the difference between them and like the culture of having a lot of malls in the Philippines and how people, um, the, the, the behavior of people inside the mall, you know, things like that. Like why are there so many um, malls in the Philippines? I think that's like a, a good way to experience um, because I don't know, um, the, the malls in the Philippines, um, it's very, we have a lot. So basically we love malls and it's the way for us to also um, chill because it's really hot outside. Usually in the summer, you would see a lot of people going to the mall. There's plenty of interesting malls in the Philippines. So one of them is the Mall of Asia where it's in the surface of the water. So that's pretty cool. And it's the biggest mall in Asia. So um, I've had friends who actually asked me to take them to Mall of Asia because they've read about it. Um, I thought that was pretty weird. Like, why would you want to go to the mall? But yeah, I could understand that.
But yeah, so those are the 10 things that I think you should try and enjoy when you are in the city, okay? And there could be other than that that's, that's better, but for me, those are the things that you should try if, you know, you don't have anything to do. Let us know what you want me to cover for the next episode of Lenguaje. But other than that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below. I don't know if it's here. And I will see you again next time, guys. Salamat po. Bye-bye. Ready, steady. For more Tagalog practice, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Salamat po! This audio practice is brought to you by Lingwahe.